I have many things to give you. The first of which my is name is Jamal Jackson heart. Rogers. I'm an artist, a father, a husband, and uh, a creative entrepreneur. But the first of which is my word. Poetry came to me uh, when Vocal I was nine years old. Um, I was asked to go to the library and find a book of poems by my ESL teacher at the time because we were going to do a poetry unit. And I went to the library and uh, I pulled out this book of poems by Langston Hughes and it changed my life. I am reminded of that same eye that has led me to disappointment and shame time and time again. So I wrote my own again. poem after that. It was like based off of the no. roses are red, violets are blue poem. And you know, there's a certain meter and that was like, that's the most famous poem kids know, right? The roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet and so are you. So I decided to write my own four line meter type poem and uh, it, was to a, it was to a young girl. The teacher loved it and asked me to perform it in front of the class or present it. And I was nervous, but I did it. And that was the first time I realized like words have power. And that's how it changed my life. The Origin Arts and Community Center came about from a collaborative vision and passion to create a space for uh, voices that are often uh, valued uh, between myself and Jackie Dutoy, who is a creative and an artist in Ottawa. And then I told her my experience in India and how I'm, I'm having these visions of opening a space. Jackie was like, me too. Like this has been something brewing in her uh, as well. For as a man, my word is not my bond. It's my hopes. In hopes that tomorrow before dawn, I wake up feeling exactly like this. It's important to, when you're starting to build infrastructure to become free, you have to support the communities that are disenfranchised, that don't get enough support. And I'm starting to practice that more and more. How do I use my finances in the right communities and support people who need that? So trying to buy from local artists and people of color, trying to invest in ideas and, you know, creativity from communities that are, you know, majority people of color. That way I'm not just saying it, I'm doing it. As I stand in this pursuit of peace, this nostalgic I hope that my art takes me, me to a place of recognition where people who understand a certain type of struggle growing up as a person of color um, will be able to say, if he did it, I could do it too. So what shall become of this man? Do I ride and stride the wave and let the way of love navigate me? Or do I let go of the reins when the waters become troubled? If it is possible, I choose both, merging with the wave, becoming...